A critical and often overlooked component of every building is ventilation. Many roofing professionals estimate that 90% of the homes in North America are improperly ventilated. This is one problem area that can be corrected when a new roof is installed. The attics you work on need effective ventilation to keep them cooler in the summer and drier in the winter. For your attic ventilation to be effective in combating heat buildup and moisture condensation, the entire underside of the roof sheathing should be ventilated continuously and uniformly. The best way to do this is to install intake vents and exhaust ridge vents and ensure that they are working together. Now, let's take a look to see how this is done. It is important to understand that a properly ventilated roof relies on a system of products such as Cobra Ridge exhaust vents that work in conjunction with soffit vents or fascia vents. To meet the minimum government ventilation standards, follow the 1 in 300 rule. GAF has developed a chart shown in the Pro Field Guide, Ventilation Literature, and the GAF website that can show you how much ridge vent and soffit ventilation is needed. For ventilation of complex and uncommon attic spaces, contact Tech Services for assistance with your calculations. Cobra coiled ridge vent can either be hand nailed or applied with a nail gun. You must have a 3 in 12 minimum roof slope and a maximum 20 in 12 roof slope. On structures without ridge boards, make a one inch cut along both sides of the ridge. On structures with ridge boards, make a one and three quarters inch cut on each side of the ridge. Leave six inches of uncut sheathing at each gable end to protect ends from wind-driven rain. Be careful to set your saw depth to cut the sheathing only. Next, cover the entire ridge with Cobra Ridge Vent. Use roofing nails to tack the vent in place. Caulk any ends together if the ridge length is longer than a roll of Cobra. Finally, install ridge caps over the Cobra ridge vent. Use the Cobra Smart nails supplied in the package. Do not overdrive the nails. When using the nail gun version, attach the nail gun adapter to the end of the nail gun and use the 1 and 3 quarter inch nails supplied in the roll. Be sure to disconnect the air supply line prior to attaching the adapter. Always be sure to install the capping to match the shingles that are being installed. You install Cobra Rigid Vent 2, Cobra Rigid Vent 3, Snow Country, and Snow Country Advanced Ridge Vents in a similar manner. To understand the installation of these Cobra Rigid Vents, Let's first take a look at some of the unique features of these ridge vents. First, there is the self-closing end. This unique design allows for very easily finished ends. There is no need for the caulking, end caps, rivets, etc. that some ridge vents need. Simply bend to conform to the roof and install. Second are the male-female tabs on the end. All you have to do is align these tabs and butt the ridge vents together as you go across the ridge. Finally, there are the nail guide lines. When capping the ridge vent, use these lines to properly place your nails, and then cap the ridge vent with appropriate capping. Make sure to trim the second to last ridge vent section to assure the self-closing end is installed properly at the end of the ridge. While we are on the topic of ridge vents, let's take a moment to discuss ridge caps. Nothing dresses up a roofing job more than a neat hip and ridge installation. It is the crowning touch of the roofing job. For the best protection, GAF offers TimberTex and ridge glass products that qualify for a lifetime limited warranty when installed with a lifetime warranted shingle like Timberline. It's the right choice for the customer, not only because of the warranty, but because they're designed to complement the color of GAF shingles. For more information on RidgeCap and Ridge Vent products, visit GAF.com.